one of the things that's probably the most important as you design and build out your own farm is focusing on what crop you're going to be growing uh, and what your market needs. That's going to be far more important than what kind of system you're going to get into. Find out what you can sell in your area first and then find out what systems that's appropriate for and then choose from the systems that are available for that type of crop. Always start with the money first, right? Start with the sales first and then work backwards from there. Multiple reasons that the vine crops can be very profitable. I mean, number one, if you're growing something like tomatoes, people want them all the time, right? It's a very limited crop outdoors here in Texas. So especially if you're in a controlled environment, you're gonna be able to produce tomatoes year round. So if you have tomatoes in December and January, you're gonna dominate the market. You're gonna be able to get a higher price point. Then you take a look at things like uh, cucumbers, same thing, you know, you can produce them throughout the winter and they are so plentiful, especially if you're growing some of the more, some of the newer greenhouse, greenhouse varieties. I mean, once they get into production, they are so ridiculously plentiful. It's crazy, you know, and, and cucumbers in particular, a lot of times you'll have harvestable cubes, your first crop will start coming off of the vine two weeks after they're in the system. They're very quick to come to fruition and they're very profitable. And again, I mean, all of these things are, are what we consider more summer type vegetables, even your eggplants and, and peppers. And if you have those crops when other people don't, again, you're gonna be able to dominate your marketplace.